Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about reactive forms when there is a dependent drop downs. So, this was requested by one of my subscribers. So, for that sake, I am doing this video. So, this is especially for my subscribers who requested for this and all the subscribers. Please watch this for better understanding. This is completely a scenario based. So, let me quickly jump into the Visual Studio Code. So here, let me paste something. Okay. So here I have some set of list. So le let's understand the scenario first. So let me go into the next slide. Here, what my target is create two drop downs. One is continents and one is countries. Based on the selected continents, show the list of the countries. So we have to show the list of countries. Until that, the drop down should be in disabled state. And countries drop down should be disabled until we select at least one continent. That indicates until unless I select one continent, my countries drop down should be in disabled state. This one I want to achieve with reactive forms. So let me quickly jump into the Visual Studio Code. Here I have collected some set of list where it is containing a continents label and continents ID where it contains a list of countries. So let me name it as countries. So these are my countries. Let me copy this and paste here. So this is my sample list. So let me copy this sample list. Control A and go to your app.component.ts and let me paste inside this. Okay. Now this is my continents list. And inside that we have a state list. Now let me go to the HTML and create our HTML content. For that sake, let me create a form tag. And inside the form tag, let me create a div. Inside this div, let me create a select tag, which is again a drop down. And let me create an option which is by default selected. And this is an empty option. And let me go into one more option. And this will be our looping option of a particular continent. So for that sake, let me use a label here. Label continents. This is my label. So let me go to the TS file and get this list and let me loop this. So star ng fur is equal to let continent of list. So this will give the continent list and let me use one property binding called as value equal to continent let me copy this continent spelling and paste here dot id we have this id property inside this list you can check here id and label so let me use the label to showcase that continent continent dot label this is my label let me save this and check whether it is working as expected or not so if you go here, we have a continents and we have a drop down where first selected one is an empty one and later we have Asia and Europe. I have only two continents which are placed in my dummy data. So inside this, I have set of countries. So let me create a dummy countries drop down. So let me use a label again and here let me use countries and let me copy the same select one and paste here. But this time I will not target for this list. I will target for the selected states. So here we have list of countries. I will target for the selected countries. So here you have set of countries. But each and every continent will have one set of countries. So for that sake let me create one selected countries list is equal to by default it is empty for the first time let me use any of array and save this and now let me copy this and paste here and this will be indicating to a country country and this is also having one id so country dot id and country dot label so if you see here each and every state country has an id and label so let me go here and save this now if you see we have two drop downs one is a 
continents drop down and one is countries drop down let me go here and let me say save, save this now let me create one div where I am using a button for this and what this button should do it should submit the selected content and for this submission let me write one on click that is click event is equal to submit and let me save this so let me copy this submit create this method here and open close save now our HTML content and all the drop downs are ready now the target is let me create a reactive form for this one thing we need to create reactive form is by declaring the form so let me use drop down form and which is of type form group but if you want to use the group let me go into the app module and check that we have the reactive forms module so no worries let me close this and now let me assign these values this dot drop down form or let me use inside the ng on in it so let me implement on in it already i have discussed about on in it and all the life cycles in my previous videos please watch that for better understanding and i'll provide the link in the description ng on in it so here what i want to do is i want to assign this dot drop down is equal to new form group and this is an object inside this object i need two properties that is continent property which is a new form control and which is an empty by default comma next one is country drop down which requires a control form control and again this is also empty by default but what is my target i want to have the ids i don't want anything so let me use null instead of strings because string indicates non number that is only string in string but if i give null it may accept a string it may accept a number so let me give not why because we are not initializing inside the constructor so let me save this and now our form is ready that means form group is ready let me copy this and go here and bind for our html content form group and this is my drop down form and what is my control let me put my control here form control name and this control name is equivalent to my continent let me copy this and paste here and let me copy this country and then write my form control name is equal to country let me save this now first thing is my country should be disabled that means select drop down should be disabled until unless i select the continent and the second thing is my selected country list should based on the continent so for that sake whenever there is a change in the continent happens i need to perform some logic and get the list of stay list of countries which are related to that continent and put it inside the selected countries list so let me do that first let me go here and now i'm subscribing to the changes happening on that continent control so this dot drop down form dot get i can get the continents form control by using a get method and then i can use dot value changes and this value changes i can subscribe to this and i'll be getting some response and this response will be some id that is a number so let me go here and write one console first to verify from our side so let me save this go here inspect this go to the console let me zoom it and let me clear it off close this and whenever i change to asia i got one and whenever i change to europe i got two but if you remember this is something related to string how can i say it is string or not by using type of so let me use type of save this and if you see the type of method okay let me go here and go to the console 
and clear it off let me select this one if you see I'm getting the type as string but if you remember I am giving the ID which is a number for this value but why it is treating as string I'll tell you the reason we are using a property binding actually speaking whenever we are using a property binding whatever we are assigning it should take the value as well as the type but especially for this value of an option tag this will be taking everything as a string to avoid that we have one more thing called as ng value so ng value is a one more attribute or a property which helps us to use exact type as well as value Let me copy this and paste here. Now that continent ID will respond with number. So let me minimize this. Go here and clear it off. Whenever I change something here, now you got a number and that number will be equivalent to your result value, whatever you are selecting. Let me save this. And if you change this, you can see one. Okay. Now this one is a number. Let me revise this. So whenever you have an option it is always recommended to use ng value whenever you are binding if you are not using ng value if you are using only value property then it will be treating whatever the data you are passing to it it will treat it as string so for that sake i am using ng value now i am getting a number so if i select europe i am getting that means our IDs are populating as expected and whenever there is a change in this continents drop down automatically this logic will execute because we are subscribing to the changes of that value now what I want to do is I want to filter it out and get the states and put it in my selected countries for that sake let me use I have two approaches one is const filtered countries or just we can use very simple way this dot selected countries list is equal to I want to use this dot list and inside this list I have I can filter it out where this filter will receive one object which is of any and this object contains an ID which is equivalent to my response whatever I am getting if the ID matches to that response I will be getting some filtered data and from that filtered data I can just use the first index of it dot countries and this will be our countries let me save this and whenever these countries are changed then automatically this drop down will also change and whenever the drop down changes automatically it will populate the label as well as the ID let me go here and whenever I change into U Asia then we got a drop down with India and Iran because they are the countries of this continent and whenever I change to Europe now it will show the countries of Europe that is France and Germany this all the data I have already mocked up in my list if you see here if it is Asia I am showing India and Iran and if it is Europe I am showing France and Germany so now they are so now they are populating as expected now the second case is we have to disable this data so based on the selection of continent we are receiving the countries but the only case which we need to handle is whenever I select particular continent then only this should be enabled for that sake let's write our logic here so let me go to the TS file and inside this we have selected countries list and also I want to do one thing here whenever now I want to disable the data so when to disable when not to disable so the case is if response exists that means we have some value inside this then I want to 
execute this logic and also I want to enable the data which is inside my drop down form so let me use a drop down form dot get of I want to go with a country and inside this country let me set the value as well value is null whenever there is a change happen I need to reset our country to null or an empty and also this dot drop down form dot get of country whenever I have selected some continent then that continent selection should enable the field and if nothing is selected then let me copy the same thing and put it over here and let me disable it and <coughs> these both the lines are same so for that sake let me cut this and paste here let me remove this so save now what happened our selected countries will be selected based on the response which we have selected and our country will be enabled when there is a continent if the continent does not exist then our country will be in disabled state let me go here now let me reload and if you see we don't have the values and for the first time it is not triggering that particular data so what I can do just I can use something like a continent with empty let me save this now Asia I selected now we got the data if I select empty it is disabled but here there is one problem which is like first first problem so whenever there is a launch happen then our value is not triggered for that sake I'll use null here but when I go here by default the value should be null and the disabled property should be true and let me save this now go here now if you see this select tag or select element is in disabled state because I didn't select anything if I select Asia it is enabled and I can say India Iran and if I click on Europe you can see France and Germany and if I go and select back the empty one again it went into disabled state so automatically our logic is continuous executing so here just to remember our form control can also receive an object inside that object you can pass value as well as the disabled property this will be executed only once so that is the reason for the first time our continent will be empty and our country should be in disabled state that's why I wrote in this way now the last statement is let me console the values here console dot log of this dot drop down form dot value so whatever we have selected in the drop downs that IDs will be populated in my country property and continent property let me go here and clear it off let me select something like Asia and let me select India and clear it off submit so if you see continent is one and country is one out one if you see Asia Asia's ID is one so we got one continent and country which we selected is India so it is 101 so we got 101 let me go here and change into Europe and let me select the France and clear it off submit if you see here continent is 2 country is 201 if you see country is Europe sorry continent is Europe which is ID 2 and country is ID 201 and if I change into Germany and clear it off submit now the country code has been changed but continent is same continent is 2 and country is 202 that means everything is working as expected as per our requirement so hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you